Hi, Johnny Lynn, Harcourt's Pinnacle, um, video blog number four. So today, um, the what I was, what I really want to talk about is letters. So, you know, whenever new agents or anyone join the industry, the question is always, you know, I want to send letters out to my farm area. What do I include? What should I include? If you notice, um, most letters that agents are send, sending out basically talks about, you know, from free market appraisal. You know, I'm, I'm the local agent in this area, this and that and everything. Look, that's great probably for your first letter, but if you start doing that every month, you're going to find that people will end up putting your letters in the bin because really, it, it doesn't bring any value to their life it doesn't it doesn't help so basically that's one thing that our office does really well, which I want to share so basically into my farm area um, they've got a monthly letters letter from me which is 12 edition a year um, into you know in absentee owners as well as my database and one thing that I, I, I am very very cautious is that every letter has to include something of great value to them so what happens is your letter should be in such a way that when they open up they read it they go well I've learned something new today related to the market related to the industry um, and I'm going to open the next letter that Johnny sends because it's going to be great. So, for example, our October letter that we've just sent out in the um, in the office last month, um, it's all about statistics. So, RP Data um, gave that you know the the, the twelve months update. So, I basically wrote a two page letter summarizing in ten to twelve points um, all the major happenings in this area. So, for example, um, house prices in Brisbane are currently ten percent down from the peak. So, things like that, things that are really really informative. And one thing that I will make it very clear is when you send a letter, do not aim your letter asking for a free market appraisal. The reality is that they're receiving your letter. They know the company you're working for. They know you're a real estate agent. They do not need you to remind them that you're a real estate agent. So basically, you know, that's a, a huge no-no. So basically, the whole idea behind it is you want to keep giving, giving, giving and not expecting anything in return. When the time comes that they're going to sell, they're going to know that you're a real estate agent. They're going to know that they've been receiving market update from you. They're going to give you a ring anyway. So that's one thing that I'm very you know, I, I'm you know, like I said, it's a huge no-no. Do not keep asking for free market appraisal. People do not want to hear that. Um, and you know, in terms of letters, I've seen I've seen a ton of letters out there. I've seen a lot of agents do. Look, it's very generic, um, and it shouldn't be. Letters should be current. It should be current. You know, based on the current market. Should be kept based on you know what's going on in the local area, what's going on in the greater city. But it all has to be personalized. So that's video block number four. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.